Christy, you want to go next? Good morning. My name is Christy Shamblin, and I'm proud to be Nicole, Sergeant Nicole G's mom-in-law. Her Becky, her mama, Becky Herrera would be here today, but she unfortunately passed before Nicole. And I like to think that she was waiting for her in heaven. I'm not a speaker, and this is not my comfort zone, so please be patient with me. I'd like to thank Congressman Issa and you all for being here today. It's really important and it means so very much to us. Thank you. As I thought about what I could say today, I thought of Nicole and the bright light that she brought to our lives. She was known for being a positive and encouraging person to so many people in her life. She was ambitious, driven, caring, and she was a badass Marine. That's right. One of my favorite memories of Nicole includes the picture that was taken of her just days before her murder in Afghanistan. She's holding an infant and she posted with that, I love my job. She's in the middle of the most horrific conditions I've ever witnessed in my life. And she is proudly serving her country and loving her job, doing 100%. She held nothing back. She strived to be the best she could, and she encouraged everybody in her life to do the same in their own way. My son was an active duty Marine at the time of her death also. They were a Marine couple stationed at Lejeune, Lejeune in North Carolina. I'm very proud of my son. As God has seen fit sometimes in my life, he put us together on the day he was notified. And we left the next day to Dover Air Force Base for what I now know is called a dignified transfer. I can't even begin to piece together the words that would convey to you the devastation that her murder has brought to our family. When your child is murdered, you feel like there is no justice, and you question your very existence. I'm happy to tell you that success with the support of the Marine Corps and mental health professionals does come in small doses, and you gain small footings every day to make a new chapter in your life. We're grateful, so very grateful for people like yourselves and the Americans who want to hear our children's stories. Because we don't get to make new memories with our children. All we have is their, mem their you know, our memories. All we have is the stories that we get to share with you guys. We're grateful for the support of people like Congressman Issa and several other congressmen who have been taking us and really allowing us to have our voices heard and to make it better for both our active duty service members, our veterans, and the next families that will have to welcome their children home in a casket draped with a flag. It will happen again. It is the cost of the greatest country on earth. And it's the cost of our freedoms. And I, we want to make sure that while we can't bring our children back, the next ones will be treated with more respect. 
the respect that they earned by dying for our country. Helping for a positive change is a silver lining for our family. When our leaders, including the Secretary of Defense and our Commander-in-Chief, call this evacuation a success as if there should be celebration, it is like a knife in the heart for our families and for the people who came back and for every service member that served over this 20-year war. I live every single day knowing that these deaths were preventable. My daughter could be with us today. And that wasn't just one decision, it was many decisions. Many times over it could have been stopped. So to call it a success is a, a, an ultimate disrespect for the very people that deserve every ounce of respect that we can give them. That day, there were 13 avoidable deaths of our service members. 30 plus critically wounded, wounded warriors who have our hearts. These young men and women came back bigger patriots than they left. I don't know how that's possible. And I admire them from the bottom of my heart. We left thousands, thousands of allies behind. Billions of dollars in resources for them to use against us. This was not a success. And doing the same thing and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. What we're asking for is to stop the insanity and make it better for the next group. Thank you.